Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this quiz animation using PowerPoint. This template will have four options to each question and will animate as correct and wrong answers when clicked on any of the options. So, let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with light gray color. I am keeping this template simple enough for better understanding of concepts. Go to insert tab and add text field for your first question. Quickly add some text and format it as per your requirement. Next go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle shape. Adjust its roundness and size. Make it no outline, fill it with white color and apply auto shadow effect. Reduce its transparency until you get desired effect. Next go to insert tab and add text field over this rectangle shape. Type in first option to above mentioned question and format it as per requirement. Now drag both shapes holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create three more duplicates. That makes total of four options to above question. Since we are going to use triggers in our animation, it's particularly important to rename each of these shapes for easy identification. So let's go to selection pane and quickly rename all shapes. Feel free to use your own naming convention. In this example, we will set option 2 as correct answer and obviously other three options will be wrong answer. So let's duplicate option 2 text using Ctrl plus D and change it as correct. Similarly duplicate option 1 text and change it as wrong. Let's rename these shapes as well. Now drag wrong text holding down control key to create two more duplicates and place them below other two options as shown. Rename these shapes as well and arrange all shapes in a sensible manner. That looks good. Next enable the animation pane and then let's start our animation process. Apply float in animation to first question and change its direction to down. Next select all rounded rectangle shapes and apply zoom animation. Now select all option text fields and apply appear animation. 
start them after previous, and let's quickly preview the animation ones. Looks perfect. Next we will animate the option text fields. When user clicks on option 2 text, it must disappear. Parallelly, correct text field must appear, and since this rectangle shape is for correct answer, it must fill up with green color. So select option 2 text field, and apply disappear animation. Go to trigger option, and then select option 2 text. Now we can use this as trigger to animate any shapes. Next select correct text, and apply appear animation. Drag it below the trigger section, and start it with previous. Now select rectangle shape, and add fill color animation. Again drag it below trigger section, and start it with previous. Also reduce its duration to 0.5 seconds. Next go to effect options, and change its fill color to green. Align option 2 text field and correct text field at one common position as shown. Let's preview the animation once. Observe the animation when we click on option 2 text field. Looks perfect. Similarly when user clicks on option 1 text, it must disappear. Parallelly, wrong text field must appear, and since this rectangle shape is for wrong answer, it must fill up with red color. So select option 1 text field, and apply disappear animation. Go to trigger option, and then select option 1 text. Next select wrong text, and apply appear animation. Drag it below the trigger section, and start it with previous. Now select rectangle shape, and add fill color animation. Again drag it below trigger section, and start it with previous. Also reduce its duration to 0.5 seconds. Next go to effect options, and change its fill color to red. Align option 1 text field and wrong text field at one common position as shown. Let's preview the animation once. Observe the animation when we click on option 1 text field. Looks perfect. So that's how both shapes will animate based on triggers. Follow same steps and animate option 3 and option 4 text fields.
Let's check individually if all animations will trigger when we click on option text fields. Looks perfect. So if you want to add few more questions into this template, just duplicate first slide and move the options to different positions as shown. It's not required to animate all shapes again, and since each text field is editable, you can easily customize them as per your requirement. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.